I'm Chris. I'm founder and CEO of Tador. And out of our wonderful team of engineers, software developers, designers, I brought Leopold over here in the audience. And it's uh, my um, pleasure to present Tador. Did you know that around one third of our primary worldwide energy re resources go into heating and cooling of buildings? And this, this vast amount of energy is actually controlled by old technology, which hasn't seen any innovation during the last decades. And it doesn't get better when it comes to our own behavior. So I have a question. How many people, how many of you turn down the heating before they leave the house? Yeah. It's pretty much um, the number, around 85% of us just um, leave it running 24-7, no matter if they go to work or if they're away for a weekend trip. These are the reasons why we developed Tardo, the most intelligent control system for heating and cooling, which helps you to save 27% on your energy. Tardo is actually part of your life. Tardo will take care of your energy consumption while you go on with the day. It takes um, geo signals from your mobile phones and connects them with your heating system at home. And this way, it will automatically turn down the heating once you leave the house. And in the same way, it will also ensure that it's warm and comfortable before you, come, before you arrive back home. So what's happening in the back? As I said, it's adapting to your life no matter if you're there the whole day or if you're away for a complete week. Tato also adapts to your apartment. It quickly learns how fast it's cooling down in the winter. It, it learns how fast it can heat it up again and what, the, what effect solar radiation has on your room temperature. Knowing these characteristics of your home, we'll integrate web-based weather data for your specific region to make it even more efficient and more comfortable. So in sum, Tado is a complete new paradigm of interconnectivity. We take automatic signals from your mobile phone, we take regional web-based data on a weather forecast and bring it to, to the real life, to the heating systems in your homes to make them um, more efficient and to enable all of us um, to live a little bit more responsibly. So how does it get into your apartment? Currently, Tado is compatible with 22 million households in Germany, so mostly houses or apartments which have their own heating system. Just unplug your old thermostat from the wall and replace it by the Tado box. Download our app from the, from the App Store and you're ready to go. It's very easy. Currently, 95% of our customers do it themselves, and um, it takes them around 10 to 20 minutes. So this is our offering. Tado controls, um, takes over um, your co control of your heating system, saves you a couple hundred euros per year, increases your comfort, and Tado is just um, fun to use. We're, um, we just launched our web shop a couple of weeks ago, and um, it's the best reward for our hard work during our last um, two and a half years to see super excited um, customers using our product, getting great feedback, and um, growing our customers day of the day. So go to our website, tato.com, and um, get yours for your home. Thank you very much. First to uh, O'Malik, um, do you want to make uh, energy management part of your daily life? Oh, I would love to. I, I have Nest at home, so <laughs> I see this is a direct competitor with Nest in, in the US. And so every time I actually think of, of these uh, devices, uh, you know, there's, I like connected devices, so I'll put anything like that in my apartment. But there is a lot of the problem you're going to have to deal with is uh, the apathy of people towards, you know, uh, who wants to bother with changing their, you know, temperature control, heat controls, or thermostats. This is the same thing which is happening with folks at, at Nest who have had to use connections with uh, big utilities to get to people. And I think so 
your approach as a consumer sale, while interesting and you know great, might actually be better if you went straight to the utilities and get them to implement it. Esther, you seem to be nodding in agreement. Yeah, I, what Om said is exactly right. I, I'm involved with a company called Gridpoint that started out selling to consumers. Now we sell through utilities. So I just wanted to add that if these two guys invest in your company and you sell to utilities, I will invest in Tato Tusk, which is a little startup of freelance workers who install these things yeah. for 50 euros. And the other way is I would price it based on how much it lowers the use of energy and somehow figure a cost sharing with the user. And then, then it becomes an interesting proposition. Yeah. There we go. So, sort of uh, business, business consulting advice that money can't buy. Um, <laughs> Thank so, you. So yeah. I, also, yeah. I also have a nest. One of the things, that, one of the drawbacks I see with your system is it doesn't look like it has its own display and controls on the module itself. Exactly. So it's nice. So unfortunately, the nest does. And sometimes when you walk in front of it, you can adjust it manually. It's really important for a certain class of users. Pulling out a phone or a tablet, bringing up the app, doing the adjustments. It's a couple extra steps. It's great when you're away from the home and you want to do it remotely. But when you're inside the home, it's sometimes annoying. You may just want to walk to it and do it directly. So that's Mm -hmm. One drawback, Nest also has a web interface. I see a lot more pieces in the box that may be unfortunate. You know, Nest is one unit with a direct, will grab the Wi-Fi information via the app. So I've got some concerns about how many things you have in there and, the, and not to pile on. But the other thing that I think is a little bit of a drawback is, the night, is it's your, uh, it looks like you have yearly pricing. And that is going to be a, a big minus for consumers down the road when they start calculating how much that's going to cost them over time versus, say, a $250 or you know, $200 Euro box right from the get-go that they own forever. Paying for something, unless it's got something really magical on the back end as a service, it's going to be challenging. And when two people live together, whose phone wins? <laughs> or, or kids who may not have phones. Right. I think there is a, in the U.S., there is a company called O-Power. And what they do is they provide a lot of intelligence to you on your utility bill as to how much money you're spending more compared to your neighbors and your peer group, people in your income group, or you're saving money, which is a way of them letting you know, and they work with utilities. So if you, if you price at $99, you also have to tell people that you're saving $1,000 a year or something of that sort. Otherwise, they will not kind of buy into it. So. Yeah. You have to make sure people understand that this is going to save them money. Yeah, no, t totally right. I mean, those were probably around um, 25 questions, so it would be hard to answer all of them. Pick one. <laughs> but we have um, uh, answers um, on that, so we can talk about it later. Um, so about the comparison, the display in the house, so we don't think that we want to um, make an existing thermostat better, but we believe in the yeah, Internet of Things and the cloud and the people will have their display in, the, in their pocket, which are quite high quality devices and I'm sitting on the couch and I want to have it a little bit more warmer, so I just take the, the smartphone and um, do it. So um, those, this is um, one important reason why um, why we are um, focusing on the mobile apps and we are integrating the, the, the real-time signals to control um, the heating system instead of having a learning thermostat. So this is um, one question on your 25. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sure you will get the opportunity to, uh, to plug that plug a little bit more. Thank you very much, Carter.